morning guys, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you a video today on how we can decoupage a birdhouse, this one in particular, and it's got some interesting little areas that could be a challenge, so I thought I would show you how I would handle those. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much to you guys that are subscribing and commenting and giving me the thumbs up. It's really nice uh, and it helps me to be able to keep moving forward. So I will let you know now what we'll need in order to get this done. This project today we're going to be using the crafting iron. This I, I actually believe this is called an embroidery tool, an embroidery iron going to be using some glitter. I have to experiment to see which one works best with the color. A top coat I'll be using the very shiny triple thick and I'm using decoupage glue and especially for the triple thick you're not supposed to use a sponge brush. That The first thing that I did with this by the way is I painted it with gesso so you will need some gesso. The next step is I'm going to take my decoupage glue and put it all over the areas where I'm going to apply the napkin and I'm going to let it dry. The birdhouse is dried now. The decoupage glue has dried. These are my hydrangea napkins. I see they're upside down right now, but just for the sake of separating the top part from the bottom, I'm just using a little water go along the edge so we can tear that quickly and then just separate the napkins I'm going to iron the napkin on Now what I'm going to do is take my brush and go around this area where the flower is. Because it's where I want to tear it. And this is where the holes are. So what I'm going to do is iron down the napkin above this the hole right here and around you can see where that is right there just go around the hole So I'm going to iron just the parts of the napkin that I want. If your napkin tears like it did up in this area, what I'm going to do is just cut out a few little petals and fill in that spot. I'm going to add a little bit of decoupage glue over the napkin and I'm just doing this so that I can blend I'm almost painting the napkin on. I'm 
And what I'm doing on this area is I don't want this hard edge, so I'm trying to overlap by covering the old flower with the new one. I use the brush, the wet brush, to dampen the napkin and pull away those hard edges. Now some people use parchment paper over any napkin that they're decoupaging with a craft iron because if you'll notice right in there you can see that there's a tiny bit of a brown spot that could have been a little bit wet or damp in there or it could just be that the craft iron got too hot and it burnt the napkin. I normally go over it so quickly and it melts so quickly that I don't always use the parchment paper but it's probably a good idea to have parchment paper just in case you end up coming up with some of these spots and probably not a good idea. So you can see how the napkin overlaps here and I'm going to use the scissors actually to cut this out just to make it a little more exact. I've covered the whole surface except for this one last panel and what I'm going to do is take the nail file and because I'm on an edge here I'm just going to go around and file this piece off. And I'll put another piece on that fits this section. <laughs> Once you're done going over your whole birdhouse, the whole outside, you add a coat of decoupage glue over the whole surface. Everything should be dry and intact by now. So just where I've laid the napkins, I'm going to go over the whole thing with some decoupage glue and let it dry. Now I'll start putting this triple thick and then the glitter on this top part. And just check back after you've finished applying your top coat to make sure it's not running or dripping anywhere. You want to do that within about five to ten minutes. If you sit it up to dry or lay it flat, just make sure you look around it and make sure there aren't any drips. I want to show you the completed project though, so let's let it dry and come right back. There's our finished birdhouse. Close up on that for you. And I just wanted to show you a couple of other, that's a tiny little birdhouse with some French script on it right there, very high gloss. This is a birdhouse I made that has no gloss on it using that same process with the napkin. 
And here's our completed one from today. I'll be back next week with another video. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do what I can to help you out.